Hey, what's up everybody? This is Marcos and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add your own music and sound effects to your Final Cut Pro X library. As you know, Final Cut Pro X comes standard with a lot of these uh, sounds and different ambient noises. Um, but sometimes, let's say you buy music on, online or you, you acquire some sound effects, you want them to be available here under the Final Cut Pro X library. Uh, in the past, I would have to go and dig for them, uh, going through my finder and looking at my folders and dragging over the song I wanted. So let's say I wanted um, a song that I use all the time. I would have to you know, find it, drag it over, and there it is. But I want to save time. I, wanna, I want this song to appear here under my library. And, and as you can see here, there's a folder called hashtag my music. This is a folder I created. And in there, I put already put one song. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And also to get whatever, uh, create folders and, and uh, th that you can quickly access. So you can get, uh, you can quickly add music uh, to your project. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we want to do is open up the finder window. And actually, we're going to let me open a new finder window. Command N to do that. And you want to go to the root uh, hard drive. In this case, is a Breathe SSD. This is my actual hard drive. And you double click on it and you go to, you come to this uh, folder structure. So let me change the view. I'm going to go to uh, my main hard drive, go to uh, library, audio, audio loops, Apple, and then Final Cut Pro X sound effects. And here is where all these files live. If you can come down over here, these are all folders and this is where they live. Okay. So this is a folder already created hashtag my music. So what I'm going to do is I want all these songs to appear over here on my final cut pro X library. So I have to copy them over or I can just drag them. But in this case, I'm going to copy them, select them and then copy 13 items, and then go over here to hashtag my music and paste the 13 items. So it's going to create a copy of them. Let's see if they, they don't appear. So we're going to close down Final Cut Pro X and reopen it. Okay. I closed down Final Cut Pro X and now I reopened it. And now, as you can see here, all those songs I copied over to that folder, they appear here. Now it's as simple as dragging over the, the song I want. Q and it automatically adds it to where the playhead was. So I no longer have to dig for the song I want through my folders. And, I'll, and I, I can also add, let's say sound effects. I can create a folder. I right click new folder. Let's name this hashtag sound effects. Okay, so if I go over to my sound effects, let me go back to my uh, previous files. Here I have uh, some sound effects I recently downloaded online through Premium Beat. These are free sound effects, so I'm going to select all these. I don't want this uh, file. So again, uh, copy 15 items, go over to my sound effects folder, and I'm going to paste them in there. Okay, again, I'm gonna close down Final Cut Pro X because I, I can't see the folder. Okay, I reopened the Final Cut Pro X. Now there's a folder I created, hashtag sound effects. So now I can access this these uh, sound effects quickly. I don't have to go over to my, uh, and go and find them. So hopefully this helps you. Um, you can always delete this, delete, uh, let's say you don't use many of these sound effects. You just wanna keep a couple of them to just make it simpler for you. You can do that. You can create different folders under uh, here under this path and you can create new folders or subfolders. It's up to you. So I hope this helps you. It's just a, a better way to access your music, music that you are constantly using and sound effects. And I know it'll save you time. So please go ahead and drop any questions in the comment section and I'll get to them. And as always, Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.